During this year's World Baseball Classic, Randy Arozarena broke out as one of the biggest stars and most exciting players in the entire tournament. He was awesome. While playing for Team Mexico, Randy put up the second best OPS out of all qualifying hitters in the WBC, drove in the third most runs, scored a bunch of runs. I mean, he was incredible. And defensively, he also made some huge plays in left field. A lot of baseball fans knew who Randy Arozarena was heading into the WBC, as he's been a pretty good player for the Tampa Bay Rays for a few years now. But the Classic really put him on the map, and it was so much fun to watch. The 2023 World Baseball Classic was also the birth of Randy Arozarena's new signature pose, the one he does after doing anything really productive on the field, where he crosses his arms and looks stoically into his team's dugout and smiles sometimes too. It's pretty awesome, in my opinion. And it was also pretty hilarious to see Randy do his pose with such an expressionless face after making the catch of his life. Like, the dude literally just robbed a home run in a huge moment, only to look like he was almost bored out there. It was amazing. The 2023 WBC was a blast for so many reasons, but Randy was most definitely up there as one of the top reasons for why it was so much fun. If you thought Randy Arozarena's impact would stop and that he would just go into irrelevancy after the tournament once the MLB regular season started, you would be an absolute fool. At least he's making you look like a fool if you assume such a thing, because Arozarena has only seemed to have gotten better since the Rays season started, and has also seemed to have only gotten more attention. So far in 2023, and at the time of me making this video, Randy Arozarena has the best batting average in the American League at well over 300, has an on-base percentage of over 400, and OPS right near 1,000, he's popped 10 home runs, stolen 4 bases, and driven in 34 runs I mean, he's just been insane to start off the season. The Rays have also, of course, been amazing, jumping out as the best team in baseball as of this moment in time, but Randy has, of course, been right in the mix of everything good going on down in St. Pete and has been the star. As for his World Baseball Classic pose after doing something productive, you better bet your ass that hasn't gone anywhere. It is here to stay, wherever Randy's playing, and it is glorious. When it comes to the whole let the kids play thing in baseball, and players having fun, being flashy, being themselves, Sometimes I'm happy at how far we have come, but at the same time, I realize it's not far enough. There is a writer, and I'm going to name him because he's a public figure and should not be exempt from criticism. His name is Phil Mushnick. Phil Mushnick writes for the New York Post and recently put out one of the more insanely sad articles I've ever read, maybe ever. It's just sad to see how miserable this guy is over people having fun. So the title of this piece by Mushnick is Ray's Randy Rosarena joins growing list of stage hogging athletes disrespecting game. So he starts off the article, and I'll link it down in the description below. He starts it off by talking about some song from 1971 or something, and then he brings up the LSU star Angel Reese, the basketball college player, and then he brings up Serena Williams. Like, what does this have to do with Randy Rosarena hitting home runs? It, it makes no sense. Like, he's trying to make a point here, and it, it doesn't correlate. It doesn't, like, mean anything toward baseball or anything he brings up roger goodell the nfl commissioner i mean and and saying that he lets people say the n-word and show off to entertain during the super bowl like i don't understand what what, what his point is here what does that have to do with randy rosarena it makes no sense he then goes on to bring up when Arozarena did his pose rounding third base after hitting a home run against the Yankees, saying that home runs and doubles now must be followed by some excessively immodest demonstration that is rationalized and excused by pandering modern media as professionals merely quote-unquote having fun. Now, as much as I am pro let the kids play, there are, is a time and place for some things not to happen and, and to happen. I'm not okay with players being disrespectful or meaning to disrespect the other team. Obviously, if there's like beef going on, it makes sense, okay. But unnecessary disrespect toward other teams, I don't, obviously, I don't think anyone really likes that. It just doesn't really make any sense. Kind of like when Alec Manoa, you know, when he was yelling at the Red Sox for just striking them out and they, there was no history or beef going on. He just kind of started it himself. It was a little weird. And he got him, fastball right down the middle. As he strikes out three in a row, and now Dahlbeck and Manoa exchange. Things like that I don't like. But Randy Rosarena isn't disrespecting anybody. He's just having fun with himself and his teammates, and he's directing everything toward the Rays. He's directing everything toward his own dugout, his own team. So 
I don't understand why anybody would be upset about that. Mushnick then goes on to bring up something totally unrelated, noting the recent NBA playoff game between the Denver Nuggets and Phoenix Suns when one of the players kind of shoved one of the team owners. What in God's name does that have to do with Randy Orozarena posing and having fun on a baseball field? I mean, considering Mushnick also brought up other events that don't correlate or relate to Rosarena at all, like Joe Biden, who you can have whatever opinion you want on. But what the hell does the president have to do with Randy Rosarena? This man literally brought up female athletes being disrespectful and NFL commissioner Roger Goodell inviting quote unquote N-word spewing crotch grabbing rappers to entertain at the Super Bowl and expected it to prove a point on why Randy Rosarena doing his signature pose after doing something cool is bad like what clearly what this is is a guy mushnik who's just very miserable and has to take out his anger on something like i stated before there are some players who can be disrespectful i'm not here to say players can do whatever they want whenever they want there's a time and a place for some stuff, but what a Rosarena does is not a big deal. When he does his pose, it's directed at members of the Tampa Bay Rays. It's not ever meant to disrespect or show up the other team, like the Yankees. Now, I'm not going to blame Yankees fans and players for a Rosarena getting under their skin for what he does. I mean, imagine a player just hit a big home run against your team and then celebrates doing whatever in the celebration, you're naturally just not going to be happy because obviously you want your team to win. But if Aaron Judge did something like that, Yankees fans would likely approve of it in a heartbeat and put it on a pedestal. Since it's an opposing player though, they don't love it. It makes sense, whatever. I personally do not care that a Rosarena does what he does. I'm a Red Sox fan, and if and when Randy does that against the Sox, I won't care and will actually applaud it. As long as he isn't disrespecting the opposing side, it shouldn't ever be a problem. But according to Mushnick, it is a problem and somehow relates to things that have nothing to do with the Rosarena and the Rays. It's great to see that Rays players have the backs of their coaches and manager. Recently, Rays shortstop Wander Franco made a play that went viral on social media because he spun and flipped the baseball before throwing it to first base to get the out. A lot of managers would probably hate that and think it's too flashy and against the unwritten rules. But as far as Rays manager Kevin Cash goes, he loved it, saying, quote, I appreciate it because now as soon as I get home, I know my son, JD, is going to look at me and tell me to go out there and practice that play with him. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do that. I can't relate to the amount of confidence that Wander plays with. It's pretty special. End quote. And when Randy Rosarena does his pose rounding third base on a home run, he does it too and with his third base coach, Brady Williams. That's awesome. You love to see players and coaches and managers being on the same page and having fun together. That's what the Tampa Bay Rays seem to be all about. But Mushnick absolutely hates it and decided to write one of the more triggered and angry articles I've ever read. This isn't about a player doing something illegal, harmful, or anything like that. No, no, no. It's about a player just simply having fun with himself and his team when he does something fun on a baseball field. But the article would make you think a Rosa Reina killed somebody. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.